Hello everyone and welcome back to Bad Magic Plays with me, Moldy Kumquat. Alright, now I'm going to take a brief moment to talk about the deck and the games and then we are going to get straight into the big announcement. So, with that being said, we're playing Four Color Reanimator. I had a good time playing this deck, I love these kind of decks. We went seven and three, as you can see here. And we had a couple games where we were taken to the absolute brink, but managed to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps and take the dub. So I think you're really going to enjoy these games. Now, on to the big announcement. There are a couple parts to this number one I want to say thank you for I am overwhelmed with the amount of support that has actually come through never in my wildest dreams did I ever expect anybody to watch a video I put online with that being said I am now going to go into the next phase and attempt to get monetized now with that I am going to need all of your support Roughly 80% of the people watching are not subscribing. Uh, it takes this to get monetized. And I am a long way off from that. But this is a challenge that I am willing to take and I am asking you guys to take it with me. So, spread the word, tell your friends, like and subscribe. And let's get there. Now, that brings in the third part, which is the real announcement. Once I become monetized, I want to have a free entry standard Magic the Gathering arena tournament played online. And I will be putting up my entire first month's worth of earnings. Now how much that is, is 100% dependent upon all of you. I want to be on record today, March the 1st, for you guys March the 2nd, because that's when this video will come out. That I don't care if it's $5, or a million dollars. One hundred percent will go to the tournament. So let's get there guys. But until then, enjoy these games of magic. Because they are good ones. Take care everyone. All right, so rough start, 0-1 so far. Mm. Uh, mm, 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 mm. My throat hurts so bad, so again, I want to apologize. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. All right, so it looks like we're up against Boros. That's, that's kind of more what I expect to see based on the meta. Based on the meta there. I was on MTG Malone's stream today and found uh, out about Untapped, and that's become very handy. A little side companion. Um, so far, so good. Uh, they're not going very fast, so that's uh, that's. Definitely what I want to see. 
Uh, so I guess the reason is because it's not the convoke list. So that's cool. We got, you know, answers here. If he's going to be a bit slower. Tone Devourer. What have you got for us? Oh. I hope everyone enjoyed the dance party. There's no way I could talk during all those games yesterday. Mm. Still struggling. I gotta constantly drink water. Mm. Here it comes and there it goes because the bitter triumph. It's gonna dump this in here and I'm just gonna bring it back because that is what we do. Tome devour. Don't come at me with your little spirits when you should be playing Convoke. Yes, sir. I think we're going to bring this back with my graveyard one. And that will allow me to just um, play the one from my hand at zero cost. So... I think I like that play better. The Tome Devourer. Just a lesser version. Of Quintorius Khan than myself. I am the true Khan. I am the leveled up Khan. Khan. Quintorius Khan. You, sir, are only level 10. But I have maxed my level. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So, um, I guess just uh, time for us to become the aggressors, you know? Okay. Alright, so I guess he's gonna try to kill the Rhino. And what? Exile. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's not good, obviously. Bring this one back. And say to you, good sir, that did nothing because now here comes the angel, Atraxa, the grand unifier. And she is going to unify. It does not matter what she was going to do because the kumquat is cooking. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. Oh, this looks good. Hunter killer. It's almost like hunter, hunter. But this guy is saying, not only do I hunt, but I also kill. But who's the hunter today, Mr. Killer? Oh, this is interesting. I was going to say, I think he's playing Boros, but the last guy got us on that one. This one looks like it's now Jeskai. So, how will we do against Jeskai? Is it control? I would be playing Jeskai control right now. Um, I got one of these in my hand, so I'm just going to dump it. Um really trying to search for something that can help us here. Okay, well, I don't. That's interesting. Um, let's see. Just keep 
dumping, I guess. Ooh. Gin. Good taxes. This is Just Guy Control. Uh, he'll be awesome. Mr. Killer, what is it that you are doing? He's pondering. Okay, and it's a Vindicator. Oh. Okay. All right, so I'll take four. Um, four, two. Noob, noob, noob. We'll just keep dumping. I guess I can keep the Terror Tide here if, I mean, in case he's playing some kind of creature deck here. Right now, I'm going to try to bring back the Taxes. <coughs> oh, he's he's desperate, looking for something. So that's good for us. I mean, he's, it's obviously a very tough decision. Again, a good sign for us that the hunter has yet to find his prey. But what the hunter doesn't know is that he, too, is being hunted. But he is being hunted by something that he could never imagine. And that is a small, tiny, insignificant citrus fruit that may have some sort of mold upon it and he is bringing in the Jenka taxes saying you sir will not be playing any more spells unless you think about it and this guy did not think about it read the card read it hunter okay all right Okay. He's down to two cards, so... I mean, it's not gonna. It's not gonna bring anything back. So uh, I'm gonna hold up here and um, maybe draw at the end of the turn. Oh, blasphemous! You bring Quintorius against Quintorius. I tell you what, Hunter. I keep thinking that you're going to zig, but you keep zagging. you had me thinking that you were just guy control until you had me thinking that you were just guy whatever now I'm just not, I just don't know um let's see what we got I was talking and forgot to do that let's bring in the angel the unifier you hunt, you kill, we unify. 
However, if you do not unify willingly, We will unify you with force. And he says, yeah, I've heard it all before. Get lost. I'm going to take out the Quintorius. Okay. down to one card so yes yes please discard the Titan and what are we gonna bring back oh you know what we're gonna bring back the port and his board is white and Quintorius is gone and he only has one card. This can only mean one thing, Mr. Killer, is that you, sir, have the Hunter's Mark upon you. And I am aiming down my sights, ready to fire. He doesn't know. He does not know. He does now. Good game, Mr. Killer. Shama Red. What are you bringing to us today, Shama Red? What are you playing? Is that a, is that a little mono black? Nope, sure isn't wrong every time. Let's see if he's got a counter. Still may have a counter, just not care. But we are going to dump these big old baddies into our graveyard and we are going to do so with the intention of bringing them back. But first, enters the Malcolm. Alright, so I'm just gonna Alright. Cool. What do you take? Probably I don't know. The the portal? No. Okay. That's probably good too, because I can't play it the block. Taking three. Old Malcolm. I wonder what phase his parents are going through. What are we going to name him, Charles? Malcolm. That name brings out all his vibrant feathers. Lily, Anna, what in the world? Drop it. I blame. Could only help me though, uh, as far as she goes. Huh. Just dump here, look. I'll dump some more in here for you. Look at that. What do you think about that, Lil? Little Lily. Lily pad. Malcolm. 
or Shama from what? Okay. Again, this helps. Yeah. Thank you very much, Shama Red. It is very nice. Hit me with the Liliana again. That means he can't do it anymore. I mean, he could, but I'm gonna try to play what I get. Malcolm's over here displaying his beautiful ray of feathers and brings <clears throat> that thing is going to hurt. Um, we've got to. Yep, 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 yep. Ouch, 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 ouch. I am now at five. I think the only thing that's good here is that uh, it's not mono red. You won't be outsmarting me. So let's see. Um. So he's probably probably going to try to pop off the Liliana next turn. Um, uh, so he's going to put my stuff into piles. Um, I guess then he's only got one card. So I think I grab the portal. And then he's gonna probably separate my lands in the portal and I'll just dump my lands and let my portal play all my cards because what he's got he's not gonna have anything to get rid of it I have this add this little pixie just to make his decision a little more difficult all right what you got there she is. Okay. One way or another. So, yeah. Made it easy. I'm dumping the lanes. There you go, bud. There you go. Let's bring down Jim. Stop your first spell. Take out Liliana. Boy, we're just sitting Not here. Favors the foolish, after all. So I think I'm just going to take the bat here, and I'll take one of his cards. Let's control this game. Nah, you see, GG's, Shama Red, sir. Well, so I got. Uh, got a couple things that I can help dump. So, no green mana yet, but it should be fine. And there's green mana. So, let's just go ahead and start moving things to the graveyard. That's good. And now we're rocking and rolling. Another person using these flipped over cards. So they're in white as well. Is this also a Vindicator? I uh, like that person playing uh, Jessica early, earlier, I think, maybe. What you got? L. Thiel, 1961. I wonder what that date's significant for here. Is this person 
trying to tell us that they are very old. And maybe that is why. It is taking so long for them to take their turn. They're there. So, what you got, El Thiel? So it's a Vindicator. Like that means the other card's a Vindicator. That's all that tells me. That's strange, though. Two decks today using that. Dumping. Oh, there's the portal. So, I think we're going to play the prankster and pass the turn. Let's see what you have, El Theol, 1961. It's one year younger than my mother. What do a you a have? Come on back in here, Elthio. Get that walker. Walk, hobble your way on back into the computer room. Let's go. There she is. He or she. All right, so I'm just going to mitigate some of the damage here. So, I don't have enough to bring the portal down, so I'm going to have to do something different. I could do the Titan, um, but I may just see. I could do uh, Gix and, you know, take a card. Look and see what he's got. Yeah, that looks good. We'll do this because uh, uh, you know we're still at 20. There's there's not a big rush. Let's see what you got, El Theo. Nothing I can take, but once again, just like last uh, person that was using the. Vindicators. It was. It turned out to just be a control deck using Vindicators, but this is mono white, and that very much looks like a control deck. Very interesting. Very unexpected. here to make my uh, uh, reanimation bigger so I'm at 10 now so I can I can definitely pull the portal and wipe his board or her board I don't know judging by the name and the pro I'd say the latter. Let's go, Elthiel. Looking for you. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Ah, no. I'm doing so many crazy, scary things over here. And she just pops back out of nowhere. All right, so I'll take mitigate the two as much as I can. Now I'll bring down portal and 
say bye 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 bye. So he's well placed to, uh, against me bringing anything in. I'd, I'd like to try to get the Jenka Taxis down in order to, you know, maybe stop a uh, him playing the uh, the Zenith, or at least make it a little bit more difficult for him to play that. Minusing. I've made plenty of connections. I I've never liked this version of Elspeth. I don't feel like it's got a very big role in anything. Creature. Let's see. I'm gonna take their uh, Vindicator because then I can fly over top and it's lifelink, so with Ward. Um, and it also puts pressure on uh, on them to. Um, pressure on them to use cards to take care of his own stuff you know maybe just maybe I've got uh, maybe he's ready to use that uh, zenith now so then if he uses the zenith then that gets that out of his hand Allows me to freedom to bring more stuff out. Oh, but in order for any of this to take place, Elthiel needs to. Uh, Come back to the phone. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're playing on their phone and it's just a little bit weirder. I, I, I don't know. I don't play on my phone often enough to really catch a difference or anything. There it is. Okay. Alrighty. So now I'll bring down Jim. That gives us a little protection against what they are trying to do. Let us see what we got. Getting to do things twice is always good. Let's just cast that and there's only a Titan. I guess I mean that'll be um, I don't know, hold on just a second, let me think here. So um, I just don't feel like the Titan's gonna be enough. And I also don't think I'm in a position to where I have to uh, like he's gonna hit me for for poison and, and yeah that sucks yeah, I'll go ahead and bring down the Titan I, I, no, I, I didn't mean to do that. What, what am I doing? 
sometimes I get stuck thinking in my head and and like I wanted to bring down the Titan but I don't I don't I don't know what I was thinking there maybe maybe going a little long term and maybe and uh, seeing what I can get out of his hand again just to bring the Titan back on turn three um, I, I don't know what I was thinking there that was that was a bad move see now I'm gonna get hit for a lot of poison and I should have I had the Titan and, and maybe a Rhino down So I'm gonna lose my gin. Bring back Titan. Which is what I should have done last turn. But this allows me to get the gin taxes back. Still looking okay, I believe. Yeah, I don't. I don't really have anything I super need. Maybe Terror Tide in case he fills up with mites. I'm at eight. It is time to show us what you have. And it's an all out might attack. That is what you got. Okay. Kill the gin again. Now they destroyed the tuck. Okay. After, well, I guess it has trample, but I'm just gonna bring it back. So it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Let's gain some life. Even though poison is the issue, but. Doing a lot of damage to me too. All right, so what do we swing in. He's got four. I know. We'll just we'll just go ahead and pass the turn. That way we have a host of things for him to blast into, and we'll gain some life if he tries to attack. I, I just I feel like we're in a good place right here. What do you think, Elthiel 1961? Do you think that I am in a good place right here? Yes, yes they do. GG's. and move them. I'll keep it. Yeah, we don't need any more lands right now. Coach McGuirk. Mono Red. Okay. Yep. This is Mono Red doing Mono Red things at the moment. Rid of the 
host. <coughs> Excuse me. So it seems that he's going a little slower. Which is good for us. Gives us time to get rid of these lands because that's all we're drawing. It's nine and fourteen cards lands. That's what we don't need against mono red. Okay. Okay. All right, and I'm at ten all of a sudden. This looks good. And then Mama Red would probably scoop because I can't do anything about it. Dude. I wonder why he didn't do that before combat. Okay, I'm at four. They have two cards. Uh. Here we go, let's see. Um hmm. I guess we'll just We'll just uh, do this. I mean, I'm not playing a Titan or anything anytime soon, so this will give me something I can use to block and dump it to the graveyard. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's not a lightning strike. That's also not a lightning strike. Also not a lightning strike. Awesome, I bet he will attack in 100%. No! Wow! Um... Okay, so... I'm gonna have to attack just to gain the life, but maybe... I could bring my Atraxa back, so... Attack in. I'm going to. I'm just going to wipe the board here. And, uh, and that'll, you know, I'm at ten, so I'm good. He's only got two cards, and uh, and I'll bring a tracks back maybe next turn. Okay. Okay, I'm fine with that. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do it this way, since he. I mean, I'm still at eight. I feel I feel good at eight, even though I shouldn't probably, but. He's playing all the shots, nobody plays it. Okay. <coughs> My goodness. 
if this guy goes over top of my head and just plays with fire me to death, I'm gonna be so angry. Two cards, Monocrad. Two cards. But you attack in first before you do anything. Three cards. What you got? Okay. That's not a burn spell. He's thinking. It's been a while since he's had to, so. Coach McGurk. What's it? Okay. Yeah, that, I mean, that was, that's an easy, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'll take that every time, my guy, come on, now I'm back at 11, I, I'd say this is a GG, I can, I can relax now. Salvage with an L, but saw so, so, suavage, Danimal suavage. He's like the cool, the cool guy in the animal kingdom, or the Danimal kingdom, which is a yogurt, I think. So maybe that's why he's not very savage, because he's a yogurt. He's just smooth yogurt. That's what that is. A danimal <laughs> suavage. Smooth yogurt. I love it. Okay, so he's playing Rakdos, but what kind of Rakdos? We're gonna play this here. Draw a couple cards with the heart and maybe next turn dump. Dump some stuff in our graveyard to try to bring back. Okay. Let's see what we get. See what we can get coming up. More lands. All right. Um. Yeah, we'll just dump that. Okay. It's not really anything going on here in the graveyard. So. What is this? Okay. Good one on this dump. Okay, there's a Titan. Uh, 
past the turn and kind of see what he's gonna do here. What's this? Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. Oh my goodness. That might have just fucked me. I mean, there's probably no mind about it. I'm lucky the smooth yogurt is, uh struggling with his lands because that really hurt okay so he's not Rakdos he's Mardu okay great I see I kind of see what he's doing now See if we can try to rebuild our graveyard. I did not even. I honestly saw him put that down and didn't even bother to look at it. I had no idea what that card was. <sighs> and that very well could have cost me this game. Uh, especially since he's coming into some land now. So. thinking he's playing some kind of control deck. Okay. Oh. Well, I think so I'm passing turn here. I can't really bring anything back with the squirming emergence. Um, well, I was going to use that to block, but hopefully him playing the uh, arch fiend gave us a little bit of a win condition which is if we can survive uh, unfortunately uh, we he got rid of that but uh, we can play the titan and he can at least block and keep us from dying so that's what we're going to try right here I might let him swing through with the Archfiend one turn here. It'll put me at six, but he will, uh, you know, he only gets one more turn. What do you do, Smooth Yogurt? Well, that wasn't uh, much of a draw. <sighs> oh, that damn artifact just hurt. Um, I'm, I'm going to bring the prankster back here um, as a blocker. Uh, yeah, I'm going to bring the prankster back as a, as a blocker here to block the archfiend and just try to keep it alive. I just want to keep this thing alive because like I said that'll that'll win me the game <clears throat> if I can stay alive let's see what you do smooth yogurt Absolutely have to block and kill the Archfiend. So, okay, but I'm still alive, which is good. And uh, he's on a three turn clock if he doesn't play. Oh, 
take this. Try to see if we've got uh, any lands on top. Oh, a forge. That's annoying. That's real annoying. Not yet, but I mean, being at four. Good thing is it's on a three-turn clock. <clears throat> Oh. oh, I need that land. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. 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 <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm holding up blocks for the Herbrask Forge. I probably could have tacked in with the Titan. Uh, I just know that he has the ability to throw a, that that haste creature down I just uh, just trying to play it a little bit safe here at four okay what you gonna do smooth yogurt aggressively smooth yogurt because he's suavage He's really thinking hard, so I can appreciate that. Looks like he's attempting to uh, just really draw a card here. Aggressively smooth yogurt. What do you got? You brought me to the brink. Good sir. I made mistakes. Mistakes were made. But now I have to say, what are you going to do? Three cards in hand. Ball is in your court, and you're thinking very hard. But I think what you're thinking about is, is that you don't have anything except a deadly cover-up. Okay. Well, I'm probably gonna lose the Atraxa here. <laughs> <For the remainder. laughs> G G me. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, it's that's pretty much it. Um, the, he didn't pick the Atraxa. He picked, he picked the Titan. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, I'm going to kill this. I, I guess he picked the Titan maybe because it could kill the Forge. Um, which... That's not a, I mean, that's, that's not a bad idea, I guess. Yeah, I guess this will be all right. Um, oh, my Bozeshu. Okay. I uh, can't cast the channel from the top, but we have this, so better... 
lucky than good because I wasn't paying attention to the Bozeju. And that right there should be GG's. There he goes. Good game. Aggressively smooth yogurt. Alright. So this is our 10th game. So it'll be the last. Uh, we are 6 and 3. And it looks like we are playing this time against Mono White or Boros. Either way, they've got a good start with the Warden. <clears throat> um, I think this hand is good. Especially with the emergence coming. So, um, so yeah. I'm gonna do it this way. And I guess I could have used the, the third path there. I typically do. Um, I could sit here and make up some reason why I did it that way, but really the uh, the only answer is that I just wasn't thinking about it. Okay, so pumping up the warden means that you are not doing damage to me, and I am okay with that. All right, doing it again. Good. Good. She's a big one. Fantastic. Let's go to see what's on top. Don't need to land right now. And we'll go ahead and uh, kill the warden. Throw in an Atraxa and say, You're go, Tin Turnip. You know what's coming. So get that damage in. Wow, you can. He's only got two cards in hand. And we got rid of the big ward. So I am feeling very happy with where we're at right now. Um, so... Let's, uh, let's put some stuff in the graveyard to fuel the emergence. That way I have enough mana to get the Atraxa back. Or not a mana, but uh, enough creatures to get the... Uh, not even creature shit. It's getting late. I have enough cards in the graveyard to bring the Atraxa back. Okay. Alright. Uh, now he's <laughs> had two cards and all of a sudden uh, his board is insane. And we're in if he draws the recruiter, we are uh, as good as toast. Alright, so uh, we're going to bring the portal down a little make him sack some of this board which will probably be all of the goblins there so puts me at one puts me at one So I think this will be fine. Maybe a Bozeju. Yeah, actually, I could use that Bozeju to um, take out his enchantment there. Just like we took the... Got rid of the Urbrask. Without realizing it. That taught us for this game. <laughs> because now he is... And that's a lot of damage. That's four damage that he doesn't have available. And he's only got one card in hand, so two after he draws, it's going to have to be a recruiter. <clears throat> I can block with a Traxa and gain enough life to get through this. So, uh, again, I'm feeling pretty, pretty happy with our position. I got the, the bitter triumph <clears throat> to, you know, kill anything that might become big. Okay, that's not a recruiter. Maybe this last card is a recruiter. It's 
to land. GG's. 10 turnip. Maybe I'm saying that too soon, but... So, we'll get rid of the inspector. And, yeah, see, he knew what was up. GG's.